my first hackathon submission was a quick sort program hey everyone in this week's episode of the developers cafe podcast i'm in conversation with ashwin kumar open he has been 10 hackathons in the last 8 months he shares his experience his learnings and advice for all you folks to not just start participating but also winning hackathons in the end we also share a special tip for all you folks so make sure to watch this one until the very end also like share and subscribe so that this video can reach more number of people and as always enjoy this one hi ashwin how are you hi sanskar i'm good hope you are doing great yeah i'm great ashwin can you tell the listeners about yourself yeah sure so my name is ashwin kumar uppala i am a third year engineering student from snist from hyderabad and uh, my degree is not computer science actually it is electronics and computer engineering so ashwin can you tell the listeners a little brief about your hackathon journey uh yeah sure so i started hackathon back, my first hackathon was back in march 2021 and i honestly did it for the sake of stickers and nothing else and since then it's been a long journey because i have made such a big network and i've it's been a long ride and it's pretty fun and yeah i have won a couple of hackathons too and now i am working most of the time to give back to the community by helping others by mentoring and judging hackathons or helping beginners get started awesome. with their first hackathon awesome so if a beginner is listening to us Let's tell him what is a hackathon first of all. So let me put it in simplest phrase. If you don't know what is a hackathon, so hackathon has nothing to do with cracking your friend's Facebook account or someone's <laughs> password. It's not the that hacking. Hackathons means you are given a problem and you have to solve it either alone or as a team. It doesn't have to be coding all the time. The basic idea of hackathon is that. you have to solve a problem in the given time there will be rewards there will be help awesome you mentioned that you have won a couple of hackathons and you are now judging these hackathons as well so can you please tell the listeners where to find these hackathons yeah so usually uh, you may find hackathons via linkedin and some social media but the chances are very less but you will find them but there are dedicated platforms to which host hackathon uh, one of the best and i used a lot is dev post there is more like dev folio and even major league hacking even hacker earth these are very 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 popular platforms where you can find millions of hackathons so ashwin when did you start participating in these hackathons while you were learning the craft of your tech or when you mastered it Oh so this is a very often misconception that beginners think that they will first try to master a technology and then try that in a hackathon to win it but honestly hackathon are actually meant for beginners a lot of hackathon are meant for beginners so if you don't know what to code or if even if you don't know any language i think that's the best time to start a hackathon because they already provide you the resources the workshops and mentors are available to help you at the time my first hackathon i did not know anything my first hackathon submission was a quick sort program because i had no idea what to submit in a hackathon so honestly if you are listening to this and you have no idea how to get started believe me just get started and how to get started we'll just tell you in a bit also i'm curious to know What's your process like? So, by the process, I mean, for example, today you are participating in a hackathon. I give you an agenda. You have two days to complete your project, and day after tomorrow evening is a submission. So, what will these two days look like? How will you approach? How will you start your working? That's what I mean to say. Okay, so it depends on two factors. How are you taking the hackathon? Uh, the first one would be serious that you are really in to win it and the second one is if you are for fun now if you are doing it for fun then do it however you like it's completely like there is no strict rules of how you perform your own hackathon spirit it doesn't have to be all you know you have to follow the rules all the time because you are supposed to have fun in hackathon now if you really want to go in a plan wise order which i really recommend 
how i personally do it uh, these days is first of all form a team although you can do it alone i still highly highly recommend that you form a team because you will learn so much more than just coding all right once you form a team before the hackathon period starts do some brainstorming and don't do it alone if you have some ideas literally just drop them in your group if you think your ideas are dumb or they are naive still drop them because i have seen that when i drop some dumb ideas someone else makes it more creative by adding it on top of it so even if you just let it out others will give their ideas and you will end up having a amazing idea on top of it one after the other once the hackathon period starts right when it starts immediately create a github repo repository a dev post submission form just have the basic things started because what happens in virtual hackathons is that it is asynchronous that means not all of you are online at the same time and if you don't get it started you may not have the initial motivation to you know get started uh, making the project so once you create small things like repository and as initial submission it will help you kick start the bucket now now you may have a lot of ideas while you are going through the hackathon phase you may have new ideas you may remove old ones things you may not work that is fine but make sure that you have a base working project now i have personally been that sometimes you get so many awesome ideas it is simply not possible to apply it on the given time what matters here is that is the project working at the end or not uh, now it is completely all right even if the project is incomplete it's important that you participate regardless now during the end phase just before let let's say couple of hours before the hackathon it's important that you furnish it as much as possible okay don't try to add new things unless everything else is complete especially the demo video we'll talk about the demo video uh, later in this video because it's very important to it's i will tell you how important demo video is and how important presentation is so keep a mind in presentation also uh one more thing to keep in mind when you're working in teams is delegate the work i know you are an expert you may be an expert in everything but try not to do everything mm. at once it will end up getting messy and delegate work among yourselves that will help you a lot you mentioned about forming a team i was assuming that you might have a couple of friends of yours who participate in every hackathon but if that's not the case what will you suggest to a new person new to a beginner how to form a team how to form those connections yeah uh usually beginners think that they are not qualified to be in a team because they don't know anything but uh i will tell you i'll prove you how it's the other way around so every hackathon once you join has a dedicated discord server or a slack channel or some platform where you can communicate and that platform will definitely have a team building event or a team building channel where other folks like you have posted messages that they are ready to team up they know these languages or they don't know anything but they would still like to team up if you are a beginner definitely drop a message that you are a beginner and you would like to team up it's one of the biggest mistakes that beginners don't do is they don't ask in public they rather ask in dms which mm. is fine but asking in public is a lot more helpful for you because guess what there are other beginners like you in that same channel ready to team up and once you form a team it makes it so easy for you and there are a highly likely chances that someone who even has a experience will ready to take up with you gladly because you have the interest and hackathon always surrounds and moves around the interest of folks rather than the talent awesome also now i want to ask you that what sort of projects should one build should we keep our projects simple because there's a time limit or should we look to add more and more features to make it appealing or extraordinary if i should say uh it doesn't have to be a business model or an amazing mind blowing model all the time hmm. it really depends on what you want to build i have projects that are very complicated but they are not required and i have made projects which are so simple and yet they uh, have real world uses so it highly surrounds on your idea the type of tech stack you are using and it has no impact on whether how or what's the competition will it let you to, will it help you to win or not so 
you don't really worry about if the project is complicated uh, what i personally do in hackathons is when we are during the brainstorming phase we come up with an idea but then we come up with more and more and more now it sounds amazing verbally it's very difficult to implement so what we do is we break down the parts we pick one of them as base that means it should be completed at any cost so once that is possible and once that is completed then we started other things that we discussed as features on top of it so nothing breaks even if time is not sufficient at least we can submit the base and it's it is still a valid submission and gives a good impact that our project is complete so if you think your idea is a bit more complex break it down into simpler parts work on the base project make sure it is complete at least you have something to present by the end of the day and if you still have time just add other other things as features on top of it that will just be a cherry on top of your project can i give some example of a project which has one new hackathon so that the listeners can get an idea of how simple projects can be to win a hackathon yep my recent one if i can share my screen so you can see my dev post and my recent project was learnscape so this is a cncf hackathon project that we made uh, for folks who are beginner in the devops world we want to make it easy for them to get started in devops so you can see the deployed website right here now what we decided was first we'll create a basic working page and deploy it so that was the base worst case okay and the next one was the road map so this is the basic html road map which you can see this was our base that if time does not allow us to create anything mm-hmm. else we will have this thing ready by the end of the hackathon but luckily we were able to make it in very short span of time so one of our teammates also added a voice assistant here that was a feature on top of it so i think i can chat with her right now hello yeah i can hear it in my earphones so it works uh the chat screen is now up yeah so we were able to implement this also on time so that was an addition a feature on top of our base project so i think if you open sanskar if you open this window on your own page you can actually chat with me i think there are two folks online yeah oh, wow. so you can see that this is the base and the other features that we added were the features now what ha- what would have happened if we did not have the time we would just stop we would not deploy the feature and the project would still look complete and hmm. that gives a sense that okay it was not incomplete and it had a nice presentation so that is what i mean when i say that uh you know break down dissect your complicated project if it is simple then sure go ahead but if you think you have a lot of ideas definitely break it down awesome now as we know that a project is as good at its showcase right so how do you demo your project because i feel that that is the most overlooked part in a hackathon for beginners hmm ha huh. from a participants point of view the demo might be the least thing to worry because you have 2 hours for final submission and the project is not working you are working on ways that bug coming from that is fine you you may be wonder you may be putting your priority on making the project work but from viewers viewers point of view or from judges point of view i really want to make sure that how well you present it because just take so let's assume sanskar you are a judge and there are 300 participants in this hackathon let's say 100 of them did not participate so we have 200 participants 200 uh, let's say we have 150 submissions okay let's say 25 were invalid so we still have 125 submissions and you have to judge them okay we have some other judges so you have to judge at least 30 to 40 projects 30 to 40 projects have um, awesome videos have awesome read me's some of them may or may not have good read me's you don't have that much time to judge right so you will rely highly on the demo video and on the documentation mm. because that's the first thing you are going to see about that project now my project has amazing features amazing features but if i am not able to write them or post them in the video then it will just miss from your eyes so it will miss the judgment so 
when you are trying to create a demo video or a documentation it is important that you try to present the best be as precise as possible you don't have to write paragraphs and big big paragraphs it ha- it can be simple but explain it present your project like it's the best add emojis i love emojis i add emojis i added Im- embeds in images so you can see the gifs and images in the readme itself i like doing that if you are recording via a phone uh, i suggest using an app called dolby on it is on android and ios it's free so what it does is basically uses dolby algorithms to clear your audio so it feels like a really good asmr so it's completely mm-hmm. free you use that for voice over definitely add voice over it gives a human touch so if you are demoing okay editing and all is fine but i think you should really focus on the functionality of the project so make sure if the time limit is say 2 minutes or 3 minutes 70% of that time is going on your project the remaining can be on the intro outro slides and whatever you want and uh, yeah definitely spend uh, reserve some time for these presentation part delegate persons don't do it alone if you are working on the video let someone else do the documentation if you are a team of four people let two people work on the project while the other two work on the presentation so it's very so that's i'm bringing the delegation back because it is very important it saves you a lot of time team works plays a key role here also in hackathons you get a lot of freebies right so how do you make the most out of those freebies okay so every yes every hackathon have a couple of sponsors which allow to use their product for free or with some plans which you can use and which makes you eligible for that category so every category will have their own price which the sponsors hmm. will give uh so it's a personal choice if you like the price of that sponsor category definitely use that if you like that product then also you, you are come totally good using that now if you also have the time like we had with the cncf landscape we had a lot of time after doing the project so we added so we used a couple of sponsor products and we actually won in one so yeah uh, definitely use you, there there some hackathons will have too many sponsors you so you cannot end up trying to use all of them because it definitely takes time to learn their product via documentation and tutorials and all the sponsors will definitely have their representatives and mentors to help you on the discord channel of hackathon but i would suggest try to pick one or maximum two sponsors in hackathon if you want to cover also ashwin i want to ask you what tech do you include for a beginner's point of view because he might think that okay i need to include react i need to include node js i need to include databases so what are the simplest tech stacks that you have used in your projects uh a lot of my projects are centered around html css and little bit of javascript honestly uh i you can just go to my dev post and see that your tech stack really does not define you're going to win or not it uh, uh it's mostly the idea it's the presentation the tech stack depends on if you want the sponsors or not but if you're a beginner just go ahead with anything you like Uh, go for html go for css go for simple python game that is totally fine so don't really worry about you are going to use an overwhelming technology because everyone is using it mm-hmm. that is really not how hackathon works also as we never talked about how to start a hackathon how to demo your project i also want to know what not to do in a hackathon oh yeah i'm glad you asked that because there are so many things you should try not to do in a hackathon uh the first one that would be is when you're trying to look for teammates in the team building channel remember what you will ping your message in the group and chances are you will get multiple replies back or you will try to dm others who are interested to team up with you so you will dm multiple folks right and chances are multiple folks will accept them so you eventually end up in multiple teams more than one teams hmm now it is up to you to pick one but it is also your responsibility to let others know that you are not part of them because what happens often is that once you are part of one team you will obviously won't participate in the other team but those teammates are waiting for you now that should not happen 
so if you have decided a team which you should uh, way before the hackathon starts please let the other teammates or the other folks whom you dm'd know that you won't be participating in their team and leave that group so that they can search for other teammates so that saves their time that saves your time and everyone's happy and awesome. some more things that you can do is try not to well this is very obvious try not to cheat now if you are using music or code or something from an open source which is totally fine definitely credit them for that because i think credit is deserved so even if you are using a template or anything from a code base definitely template definitely credit those folks and in case you think that uh, let's say uh, some cheated something some che- some cheating happened in the hackathon you can definitely report that so don't just think that reporting won't make a difference Def- do report that so these are the some things that you should not do in hackathon you know just like don't ignore other folks if you have dm them try not to cheat or anything like that awesome also ashwin i want to know that what to do after hackathon ends where, where to go next so this is one of the most important phase in my opinion folks think that hackathon starting phase is the most important i think when, once it ends that's where the real deal starts because after the end of the hackathon you will have a lot of things in your hand you have a lot of knowledge you have made a lot of networks you are in new communities you have lots of resources so many things what to do now so the first thing i would suggest is if you have a good team if you made a good team if you like that team stay in touch definitely connect them via twitter follow them on github hmm. or just keep the chat active in discord because chances are they will have a uh, team up with you again and it, it will give you open you to so many more opportunities in the future it has opened so many opportunities for me personally uh, a lot of my teammates are just repetitive in a lot of hackathons because we all love doing hackathons and now we are like concurrently active in other places too so if one of my teammate is very active in making streams or making open source contributions i have learned that from them and now i am making that i'm being part of open source contributions so if you think you are, you have been in a good team definitely stay in touch with them a lot of times usually once the hackathon is done uh, folks would just leave the group or just leave it dead so if mm-hmm. you think your teammates are pretty good just stay in touch in them the next thing would be the project if you think your project was incomplete you can definitely complete it if you think your project had a lot of potential you can actually move it mainstream i have seen a lot of projects which were made in hackathon uh, get selected uh, or help students get selected in two programs like mlh fellowship or i don't know gsoc and so many other awesome programs because they showcase their projects which they made in hackathon and that project had a lot of potential so if you think your project had a lot of potential you can still work on it you can keep it open source and you can showcase it to the world one more point that if you think you have done a lot of hackathons maybe you have won a couple or two and you think you know enough about hackathons maybe you can consider giving back to the community you can apply to be a mentor in hackathons you can apply to be a judge so you can help those beginners which you were in the beginning help get started so that's what i'm doing right now awesome i should finally i want to ask you can you make some sort of a checklist for a beginner who wants to get started and he wants to ask you for your special guidance the first thing i would say is participate so keep that in mind participate regardless of your talent regardless of your skill level the second thing would be ask in public ask definitely ask in public no matter what happens dms are fine but first priority should be to ask in public the third one is to participate in team now chances are your team may ditch you in the end you may have a bad experience with the team you may have a good experience with the team but definitely participate in a team the third one is make sure you are enjoying the hackathon please don't take it like a serious comp- competition it's only made for you to keep it fun there are many events there are a lot of different events apart from coding phases 
participate them network with folks make sure you are enjoying the hackathon even if you are unable to complete the project and the fourth one would be to uh showcase this is very important uh what you learned what project you made showcase to the world and believe me we will respond i i have personally been amazed how how supportive the tech community is so even if you made a little bit of progress show it to us to eat it post it on instagram showcase what you made what you learned we would love to retweet it we would love to repost it so showcase what you have been through your hackathon experience because once you have done it you are no more a beginner and showcasing your experience is actually going to help another beginner right finally do you have some closing notes you want to share with the community yeah really thanks to you sanskar you are doing an amazing community work i have listened to some of your podcasts they are pretty pretty good and i'm very happy to be part of it uh in the end i would just say that uh, hackathons are basically for everyone so if you are and uh, you don't okay so i'm going to add one more point here a uh, quick tip for you to learn basically any tech stack that you want okay it's a, it's a special hint for you listening to the end so <laughs> if you want to learn something new and you have been procrastinating about it like let's say you started a react course and you have just dropped it in the end in between because you were bored just try that in a hackathon just uh, try something off topic in a hackathon so what i want for example i wanted to learn firebase and i had i i hated it i feared it a lot it was so complicated in the beginning so what i did is i said my teammates you know what let me work at the back end this time i know i'm going to fail but still i tried it because it's 48 hours mm-hmm. what's the worst that will happen nothing i like the project would be invalid or something like that it will be valid but it won't work and what happens in by the end of 48 hours you actually end up making it work you have some knowledge of it and you actually learned by doing it so you have a lot lot more confidence about the tech stack so if next time you think you hate some programming language or some framework and you want to learn it or you have been longing a lot to learn it just try the tech stack in a hackathon and i'm pretty sure you will succeed and you will just end up much more confident with the tech stack next time 